this is not a random video which will cause brain rot. Instead, you are going to actually learn something. So, the Neo-Toyota Tacoma is better in almost every single way from the previous generation, except the downsize for cylinder. With reliability concerns aside, it's simply not as smooth as the V6 it replaced. And today, we are going to talk about this extraordinarily cool science of what makes engines smoother. Why bigger engines are always going to be smoother than smaller engines. For making it easier to understand, I have brought the most sophisticated tool known to men. I have climbed mountains, swam oceans, just to get hold of this tool. So presenting you, this. Volkswagen, das Auto. So, imagine this is the crankshaft and all the pistons are above it. And if this arrow is pointing up, it means that the piston is in its, in its topmost position and if it's pointing down, it means that the piston is in its bottommost position. First, we'll begin the intake stroke. So, the piston is in its topmost position, it is going down. And now it has completed the intake stroke and as you can see, it took exactly 180 degrees of cramps of rotation to complete the intake stroke. So, a full circle is 360 degrees and half circle 180 degrees. Now we will mix air and fuel together and compress it. So, we are going, piston is going up. Now it has reached topmost position and again, as you can see, 180 degrees for the of crankshaft rotation. For power similarly, 180 degrees and exhaust, 180 degrees. So, if you multiply 4 with 180, you will get 720, which is how many degrees of crankshaft rotation it takes for one complete cycle of a 4 shot engine. That all is nice, but how does it help to answer the question why 6 cylinder is better than the 4 cylinder? Like, we know it is, but like, scientifically. So, if we divide that 720 we just obtained by the number of cylinder a car has, we'll obtain what is called as the power stroke interval. Which means that after how many degrees of crankshaft rotation will the next power stroke begin. So, let's just first start with the 3 cylinder engine. So, if we divide 720 by 3, we'll get 240, which means that first the power stroke will happen like this, then crankshaft will rotate by 240 degrees, and then the next power stroke will begin. And if we subtract 180, which is the duration of one power stroke from 240, we'll get 60, which means that after the first power stroke has ended, there is gonna be 60 degrees of nothingness where no power stroke in the it, entire engine will be happening and at this state the engine is known as silence. So as you can see from the diagram there is this silence in the internal combustion process of a 3 cylinder engine. And what about the 4 cylinder engine? Well if we divide 720 by 4 we get 180 and if we subtract 180 from 180 we get 0 which means that at any given moment uh, at least one power stroke will be happening inside a four cylinder engine. Much better than a three cylinder engine. Well, what about the six cylinder engines? Well, if we divide 720 by 6, we get 120. And if we subtract 120 from 180, we get minus 60. Which means that there, there are gonna be 60 degrees of rotation where two power strokes will be happening simultaneously. This is what gives six cylinder engines their smoothness. This is why they are far more smoother than the four cylinder engines. This is why the Neo Toyota Tacoma is not as smooth in its power de delivery as compared to the four cylinder. Well, okay. And what about the V8 if you are curious? Well, if we divide 720 by 8, we'll get 90. And if we subtract 180 from 90, we get minus 90, which, is, which means even more power overlap. And as you can see from the diagram, it means that at any given moment, there are going to be two power strokes happening simultaneously in an 8-cylinder engine. So, V8s are even more smoother than the 6-cylinder engines. Also, if you are enjoying the video so far, consider hitting that like button. Let's hit a target of 10 likes for this video. That would be awesome. And just for the sake of curiosity, 
What about V12? Well, if we divide 720 by 12, we get 60. And if we subtract one, 60 from 180, we get minus 120. So if you look at the figure, you will see that at any given moment, there are going to be at least three power strokes happening in the engines. That is going to be crazy smooth to drive. This is why Rolls Royce only uses V12 in engines in its cars, not even V8, only V12s. It's either V12 or electric. Thank you so much for watching and I really like your curiosity. And if you are curious to know about this video that I made about the coolest Honda not sold in the US, you can check it. Stay curious.